we can ask ChatGPT what is a hook in a YouTube video and get the answer a hook in a YouTube video refers to the opening part that captures the viewer's attention and so forth. Then we can ask ChatGPT to store the answer as a note. ChatGPT uses function calling to structure the answer and add a row to a table in our Google Sheets. To connect Flowwise to Google Sheets, we use webhooks. In this tutorial, we utilize a service called make.com, which offers webhooks and other solution to integrate apps together. Additionally, we use Langsmith to monitor the connection and observe the arguments passed in the function calling to better understand what's going on under the hood. We need to cover many topics, so let's dive in. First things first, we start with creating a Google Sheet. So we navigate to our Google Drive, create a folder and change to the new folder. From inside the folder, we right click and create a Google Sheets file and give it a name like flowwise-webhook. It's not mandatory, but just for clarity, we can rename sheet one to notes. Next, we add the column headers like note, category, and action, and adjust the column size. We can add a test entry like this note is directly entered in Google Sheets. As category, we enter setup, and as action, we enter ignore. Having set up our table in Google Sheets, we are prepared to structure our data for both the webhook and Flowwise custom tool. In this tutorial, we use make.com to connect Flowwise to Google Sheets. Make.com not only integrates apps together, but also can be used to refine data and implement some business logic in the workflows. For example, based on the input, you can send notification store the data, or even send emails. When you take a look at the apps and services, you can find many useful apps to connect to. Depending on your tech stack, the chances are high that you or your customer already use one or more of these services. If not, in many cases, you can register for free and start using the services required to build your project. The same is true with make.com. To follow along with this tutorial, you can register at make.com and use the free plan and scale it as you grow. After registration, log into make.com to create a scenario. You can create a scenario from scratch or use a template. There are many templates to speed up your integration and you can scroll down and browse the list of templates to get some inspiration and ideas how to expand your app and connect it to other services. There are many solutions, from simple solutions to connect your app to one service, like Notion or WhatsApp, or more complex solutions where you have conditions and routings and so forth. The possibilities are endless, so we search for webhooks, which is the focus of this tutorial, and choose a simple scenario which includes a webhook and Google Sheets. We can use the guided setup to create our scenario easily. First, we create a webhook and give it a name like flowwise-webhook-tool. For this tutorial, we do not need IP restriction and click save. Next, we need to set up the data structure for the webhook. The structure has to match our table in Google Sheets. To simplify the process, we can use a tool like Postman to send a post request to the webhook. So we copy the webhook link and go to Postman. In Postman, we paste the link and create a post request. We set body to raw and the format to JSON and paste a JSON formatted structure like this. When we send the post request, we get the response accepted. Back to our webhook, we see the structure is successfully determined and we can continue. I already connected make.com to my Google account. You have to add your own connection by using Google sign in. Next, we have to choose our spreadsheet. First, we select the folder make-com, then our Google sheet flowwise-webhook. After selecting the file, 
we can select a sheet. In our case, we rename it to Notes. Next, we drag and drop the elements from the webhook to the corresponding fields of our table in Google Sheets. The name of the fields do not have to match. Here, they differ only in the uppercase and lowercase. Additionally, you have many possibilities to manipulating the data while assigning them to the fields. But in our case, we simply want to store the data without any manipulation or cleanup. We continue and the scenario is created. As you can see, there are a lot of options to control and refine the scenario. To test the scenario, we click Run once and go back to Postman and send the post request again. Back to make.com, we can check the logs and finally look at Google Sheets and check if the new row is inserted and if the data is assigned to the right columns. If everything is fine, we change the description of the scenario and save it. We turn it on and can proceed to the next part. Next step is to set up Flowwise with Langsmith. We navigate to the repository of Flowwise on GitHub and copy the link. In our project folder, we clone the repository to the folder flowwise-webhook. We change to the new directory and start Visual Studio Code from inside the project folder. In Visual Studio Code, we go to Packages, Server, and copy the .env.example and paste and rename it to .env. In the .env file, we uncomment the long chain variables and set the project name to flowwise-webhook-make. We navigate to Langsmith and create an API key and copy the key. Back in Visual Studio Code, we paste it in the right position, save, and close the .env files. You can open a terminal in Visual Studio Code or use the command prompt to type yarn install in the root of the project and hit enter. Depending on the speed of your machine, this will take some while. And when the installation is done and the prompt comes back, we can clear the screen and go to the next step. Next, we type yarn build and hit enter. This takes some time too. And when the build process is done, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen. Now we can start Flowwise with npx Flowwise start. And Flowwise starts and listens to port 3000. When we navigate to localhost port 3000, we see Flowwise UI and can navigate to the marketplace. In marketplace, we select OpenAI Agent and click on Use Template. Now we can adjust the position of the components on the canvas and remove the default tools. Next, we search for custom tool and drag and drop it to the canvas. Now we can create a new tool and give it a name like Save a Note and a description a tool to save a note with optionally the category of the note and an action related to the note. Next, we need three properties corresponding to our columns in our Google Sheets table. So we add note as string with the description, the text of the note, and make it as required. Next, we add another property with the name category as string and description optionally the category of the node like research or finance. Next, we add our last property action a string with the description, optionally an action related to the node like read later or research more or create YouTube video. Now that the properties are set, we can add our JavaScript function. For the function, we can navigate to Flowwise documentation and go to Use Cases and Webhook Tools. Here you can read how to connect Flowwise to Discord using make.com with only one parameter message. If you scroll down, you get to the JavaScript function, which we will use as our starting point. So we copy the code, but before pasting it in our custom tool, 
We paste it in Visual Studio Code to modify the code easier and have some syntax highlighting. First, we must adjust the body to our data structure and the properties of our custom tool. So we replace it with our structure. Next, we need to update the webhook URL to our link. So we navigate to make.com and get it from our scenario in the webhook part and click copy address to clipboard. Or we can go to the webhook section and copy the URL from there. In either case, we get the same URL and go back to Visual Studio Code and assign it to webhook URL. Our JavaScript is ready. So we select all and copy the code and paste it in the custom tool in the JavaScript function area. Notice that our properties proceeded with a dollar sign in the JavaScript code. We click add to save our custom tool. Now it's time to configure the flow. We add our OpenAI API key to chat OpenAI. Next, we connect the dots and do some adjustments as save the flow and give it a name like flowwise-webhook-make and save it. We need to change the model to gpt 35 turbo 613 and save. Now we are ready to test the flow. We open and expand the chat box and ask a question like, what is a webhook? And get some information about webhooks and how they work and way they are used. To save the answer, we can write, save the answer as a note in the category research with action, create YouTube video. ChatGPT uses the custom tool and save the answer as a note and confirms the action. Then we ask our second question. What is CICD? ChatGPT answers back with a lot of information about continuous integration and continuous deployment or delivery. And we have no time to read it. So we write, save the answer as a note in the category research with action, read later. Again, ChatGPT uses our custom tool and saves the answer as a note. Finally, we ask a question in a different category, like, what is the ticker symbol of Apple? Sure enough, we get the answer AAPL. And this time, we ask ChatGPT to save the information as a note in the category Finance. And ChatGPT confirms the third action too. If we go to our Google Sheets, we see indeed ChatGPT has used the custom function and the data is stored in the right columns in our table. To see what happened in the background, we turn over to Langsmith. Our project used 4,452 tokens. When we expand our project, we see the runs. If you click on a run, we can see more information about that run. For example, which prompts are sent and how many tokens each component used. We can even see which arguments are passed in our function call. To wrap it up, you can use services like make.com to connect Flowwise to a wide range of apps and services. To get inspired, take a look at the supported apps and provided templates so that you can expand your Flowwise flow and connect it to other services. Good luck.